Live look at our nation's capital as the clock ticks down toward a possible government shutdown. The deadline to pass a spending bill now just two days away. Hey, thanks for joining us this midday. I'm Tashara Parker. We hear all about the politics around a government shutdown, but it can take a toll on so many of our friends and neighbors. Rachel Bay takes a look at the potential human cost of the spending fight. This week, Congress in the midst of another self-inflicted crisis, one that could inflict financial and emotional pain on millions of Americans absent an 11th hour deal. For some elected officials, the looming government shutdown is a political game of chicken, an opportunity to cater to their constituents and win concessions from the other party. This time, House Republicans demanding steep spending cuts and a U.S.-Mexico border crackdown to leave the lights on. But for Willie Joe Price, a cafeteria worker in the Library of Congress, it's a missed paycheck, one that threatens her ability to pay her bills. People just like me. It's a lot out here just like me living paycheck to paycheck and can't afford to do anything, you know, and then the government shut down. And like I say, the government will go back and they're going to get paid. We're not going to get anything. Price is far from alone. Starting at 12.01 a.m. on October 1st, as many as 4 million federal workers could be furloughed without pay. 1.3 million active duty military service members, as well as law enforcement officials and TSA agents, will be asked to show up at their posts despite their salaries being frozen. Employees now live paycheck to paycheck. So one missed check can affect them in many different ways, from childcare to whether or not they have gas to go to work, to and from work, having a lunch. National parks and passport offices inside federal buildings could close. New clinical trials for cancer and other life-saving research could be delayed, and travelers could see potential disruptions at the airport as air traffic controllers, already short-staffed, feel the squeeze even more. As the clock ticks down, federal employees infuriated at lawmakers for playing recklessly with their livelihoods. I just can't believe we're going down this road again. This should never even become an issue that our military families have to worry about a paycheck. The fiscal face-off coming as the nation is grappling with inflation. Meanwhile, here in the nation's capital, lawmakers still receiving a nearly $175,000 taxpayer-funded salary, despite failing to do Congress's most basic duty laid out in the Constitution, fund the government. During the last government shutdown in 2018, images of unpaid federal workers standing in line at food banks infuriated the nation and eventually led former President Donald Trump to cave on his border wall demands and reopen the government. Now, many are hopeful that it will not come to this point this time around, but given the gridlock we see in Washington right now, it's increasingly likely. Rachel Bade, ABC News, Washington.